going on guys and welcome back to some more earthbound in the last part well we got out of, we beat kraken and got out of the uh terminal only for Pooh to leave us our store this part we're gonna go to the tower anyway that means by the way we didn't get back attacked anyway these are the uh our Bar doer octobots let me double check my list for a second yeah, these aren't 129, some later ones are, but uh. I cast your foe A and B, so they're not going to I'm gonna take these ones out first. We're gonna use a PSI Fire Omega. Oh, okay, good. Now we can take care of these two assholes. And of course, you have to use PSI Shield. Of course, they have to dodge quickly because they're like the ones in Peaceful Rest Valley, only stronger. God. Shields for you. I think we gotta level up out of that. Of course, we have to be well level. Uh, I guess we're, ah, we're fairly close. We, get the, we use the key to the tower. We to talk to him. It's like you can enter, but it's locked. That's why we need the key to the tower. If you use the key to the tower, key walk open the door. Enter. This strange part of this game because we. We encounter a lot of enemies we've already seen before. Like, where you can rest. And relax and keep your uh, health. But, we're the night chef for the HP sucker. Now some friends' health is hard. Yes? The game, there's a bench where you can heal. There's a. There's like, a lot of things we fight are enemies we've already seen. Like the ones we saw these in the Foresight department store. And the, and the worthless Pavlov we saw way back in the Jeff course there. A lot of recycled enemies. There are actually some new enemies that I will point out, but um, other than that, uh, no, a lot of recycled enemies. Cup of coffee. And uh, yeah. So there's an also another thing, uh, there's another spot, there's another spot where you can call your dad and save progress, and there's kind of a hospital where you can revive fallen party members. And this, this is a pretty strange part of the game, because we have to work our way to the top. Anyway, we got that out of our system, so, um, yeah, so, we need to kill this. The answer is kind of yes. Cup of coffee, and uh, yeah. It's really coffee and us because we still need something. Is the royal iced tea on now? Uh, please, the cup. They don't do much, but I'll take it for the take it. Um I don't know, this guy looks like kind of a maze part, but uh the real one. Five dollars. Five measly dollars. Nothing for this part of the game. <laughs> It'd be nice for the beginning portion, but uh no, we're far into this game. We're actually almost done with this game, actually, come to think of it. Go down here. I'm kind of kind of guiding you because I've done two practice playthroughs and I kind of remember my way around here. Oh, these are new enemies. Let's see. Actually, they're kind of not new enemies, but they're enemies we've already seen before. But I am going to get in a fight with them. They do give good XP, so, um. 
Yeah, we already, we already, if you, these would be new enemies if you never went to, if you never re revisited winners up at this point, besides getting the, uh, fighting the Sanctuary boss there. But they do give decent experience, so, um, there's a pizza inside. Oh, shit. No! Freeze beta! That's the worst thing that can- See, we use freeze beta on enemies. Enemies don't use freeze beta on us. Anyway, I did not mean to go back down there. <laughs> Uh, these are also repeated enemies. They're pretty much any enemy area is a uh, recycled enemy or they're forced into the game. They're not even modified. So, already fought before. Killed us. Long time no see. Like, yeah, we've been a long time. Quick road. Dr. Anna's finally dungeon man. I'll come with you guys for a while. Get the hole in there. That hole and walk out. Oh, we can't jump in that hole yet with this. Read the sign. Goodbye, Exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Courage. And there's, there's still enemies we already fought before, but that is bad enemy placement. out of this because we fought these enemies back in the desert we are way stronger now boiled egg I'm gonna get rid of that we don't need a check we do need some inventory and Capsule, pretty of that, Jeff. It's like you went up by one. Anytime you get an IQ, Jeff, IQ capsule, you want to give that to Jeff. Anyway, so now that we get out of the dungeon, this is the most bizarre part. The can start following us. Now, if we get to an enemy battle. Yeah, oh, Sunstroke, but uh. If we get an enemy battle, like, like, Dungeon will attack, but like, uh, he'll, he'll do a significant amount of damage also. So if you want to grind a little bit, definitely go at it. Yeah, maybe I'll fight, uh, it, it kind of depends on like how, uh, Closer is are we to a level up? Are you trying to get a when are you trying to get one more one level up and we're done man? <laughs> Walk around. Yeah, get into an enemy battle like this. And just rely on Dungeon Man and then um he'll just XP. This will this battle will give Nessa a level up. I wanna see Dungeon Man get a hit on him. Yeah, he'll he'll solidify enemies also. I wanna see him get an actual hit. He has 370 damage. Yeah, fuck yeah. We're gonna get a level up out of this. Present, and there was a bottle of water. Ness is now level 53. Offense went up by one. I came up by one. Left went up by one. Actually, I'm at five. Ness has the power of healing Omega. Now, if we go all the way down where the, uh, at this area. Oh no, I'm getting caught in the palm trees. I cannot move. Well, okay, that's bad, but I must say goodbye here, man.
Yeah, so we can no longer rely on Benjamin for the Are you kidding me? Alright, here we go. Healing Omega. And he's back. We're gonna use that bottle of water on uh We're gonna use that bottle of water. Thank God he didn't attack Jeff. I forgot that was a PT healer. No. Anyway, we're gonna use. We're gonna heal Jeff proper this time. Apparently missed. Back. Some battles in this game can be like nerve wracking because they're legit a pain in the ass. We're gonna get a ton of XP out of this though. Present, Royal Ice Tea. Falls down level 50 off. That's one by one. I came up by one. Lucky luck went up by one. Max is two. Max is up by four. Anyway, let's just. 125 HP. Talk to this guy. Your place called Deep Darkness on the side of the road. Lost is very strong. Get your health. I'm wandering in the swamp. Bomb is bottomless, you can is Or if you have a submarine. Submarine background. Background. My submarine, I believe, and I have one. We're gonna go in this area a second time. Back at the top. After I heal. Oh, I'll see you in a second. Anyway, now back at the top, if we talk to uh, the... Again. No submarine at the back of the dungeon. If we get across the river, there's a guy exit over there. We're taking the submarine. Don't make a mistake on the... Which exit? I exit. <laughs> I love this is called the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. So yeah, we have to take the goodbye exit that was previously blocked by a sign. So we're gonna get these. Uh, actually, I want to take this. We need to give that to Paula. The rock king. Give that to uh, the Talesman. We're gonna give that to Paula. Raise their defense from 131 to 141. But yeah, don't forget to pick up that item. And yeah, look at this. Hello, submarine. Already been Beatles references, and there's another kind of another Beatles reference. Definitely here again. The work. This friend's carrying on the submarine that you. Anyway, one deep darkness. An area where you can call your dad. I say it. A point. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut it off as part of Earthbound. Appropriate time. So next time on Earthbound, I call the deep dark as then.